We are, for the first time ever, in over two years, going to actually go use some amenities <laughs> at an RV park. Yeah. So our week was up at Sunshine Key. And, you know, if, if you're booking down there, a lot of these places are called this key and that key, then there's a real key name, then there's like something that they named it for the resort. Yeah. It can be very confusing, but it is what it is. Sunshine Key Resort was on Ohio Key and then we left. We left and, and we drove 45 minutes east, I guess, on US 1 to Fiesta Key Resort. Mm -hmm. This is another Encore property. We're not members of the Thousand Trails or Encore. It just happened to be these two properties are owned by Encore. If you're wondering if we ever th entertained the Thousand Trails thing, the answer is yes, we entertained it and we came to the conclusion of no. Yeah. Because it seems like a lot of these parks, while some of them are nice, a lot of them are not. And the nice ones particularly, they only have a few sites set aside for mm -hmm. the Thousand Trails people. And they're probably, I don't know that they're the best sites, but the whole system just seems a little bit too restrictive for us, but yeah. some people love it. Yeah. This is another huge park, not quite as big, I don't think, as the last one, but we were in site 211 and this was almost like it used to be two sites in one. So it was a, it was yeah, a they large took, they site. They took a whole section and, and broke them up or mm -hmm. combined them into like bigger sites. Yeah, and this was another one right on the water, not our site, but the property's right on the water. This one was cool because they had a restaurant a tiki bar, tiki bar. And pool, all right down there. Yeah, so that was pretty neat. And there was a small little marina there. Not that many boat slips, but but some. Mm -hmm. And it was still a really nice place for us to be. It's really convenient when you have a nice restaurant on the water, right, that you can walk to. <laughs> we finally made it to the on property restaurant here we did at the Army Resort. Once, but yeah, we yeah, got carry out. Yeah. So you can see it's pretty nice. We're right here. on the water literally on the water yeah it's it's getting chilly now that the sun just went down but it was warm today again. yeah what do you tire thanks to my recommendation he brings a jacket yeah otherwise i would have not brought it and said i'm fine and then you'd be like fine. i'm cold i gotta go back and get my jacket i would have lied <laughs> Close. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm recording. So we are, for the first time ever, in over two years, going to actually go use some amenities <laughs> at an RV park. Yeah. Granted, the amenity is just a beach and a beach chair. How's it going? <laughs> but are oh, you follow us? Yes. Yes. Oh. We have followers right here. <laughs> We did make it back into Key West another day where I had to get service done on the truck, the tire, and an oil change. So we just dropped that off and then we just took an Uber. We went first to have some lunch. So we just dropped off the Ford for some oil, yeah. oil change and a leaky tire. One thing that can be inconvenient when you live full time in your RV and you travel full time is the things that used to be fairly simple like getting an oil change or something checked out on your truck isn't necessarily easy. We're staying an hour and a half away from Key West, but Key West is the only place that has a Ford dealership to get it done. Yeah, so, and it was an hour and a half either to get into Miami for service or 
this. Yeah. I mean, I know Miami has beaches like that, but try getting to them in traffic. Right, so it would definitely take longer than an hour and a half. Yeah. We figured we would have lunch at one of our favorite restaurants in Key West, which is Salute, Salute and I crave this salad. And you probably saw it if you watched our Key West part two video from last year. Yeah. We ate and we got here right at 12.30, so there's a little bit of a wait. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go to the bar. Yep, let's go to the bar. So not a bad place. No, and we only waited lunch. we only waited about five minutes. So that was awesome. And pretty nice view from Chad. Cheers. Cheers with my iced tea. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Can you believe that? He's eating a salad. This is the best. Then our plan was to see things in Key West that we've never seen before. Mm, yeah. And other than the food. Other than the food. We will see the food every time we go there. We've been to Key West. I mean, I've, uh, numerous times, mm -hmm. but there are some things we just had not seen down there. So we right. made it a point this time right. down there. So in our quest to try some things we've not tried before in, in Key, Key West, West yes. we're going to go here. Up, up to the top of the lighthouse. I don't know how many steps it is, but we'll find out. Yeah, we may just look at it from the ground. We're not real sure yet. No, we're we'll doing find it. Out. We're doing it. Yep. We're doing it. So, so let's go check it out. Yep. Now we've walked by the lighthouse, of course, many, many times, but we've never been up into the lighthouse and to check out the lighthouse keeper's quarters. Yeah, sounds really neat. Mm -hmm. Strolling up and down the sidewalk, and you can see a smile when I talk. You say everything's alright. I got a home where I can sleep in, a bunch of friends that I believe. There are 88 steps to get to the top of the lighthouse. They're very narrow, and of course, it's a spiral staircase. So, you know, just be warned if that's a problem for you. And there are two different areas along the way up that are little landing areas mm -hmm. that you can stop, let stop people and let people pass you and stuff. Other than that, it's, it's a tight squeeze. Yeah, and once you get up to the very top, you can walk around the whole thing, which is kind of neat because mm -hmm. Key West is very flat. They don't build very high there, mm -hmm. and you can see for miles. There are signs all along the viewing area that it's going to help to point out some of the landmarks that you can see off in the distance, so that's kind of neat. Gives you a little bit of a better idea of what you're looking at if you're not familiar with some of the landmarks. I think that we're fine up here, and I know we, I'm, I know we are, but you know, the more people up here, the more I don't like it. Going all jump and synchronize, synchronize jumps. You can stop. <laughs> I gotta say, getting down the lighthouse was worse for me than going up because it made me super dizzy. Oh yeah, you're looking down. You even got down. dizzy. I did. I actually got a little nauseous. But I think you were trying to film. That's true. And uh, yeah. go down the spiral staircase at That's the same what time. It was. Yeah, so. holding a camera and looking at the little screen as you walk down a spiral staircase will make you nauseous. Yes, don't it, do that again. It, well, well make... unless I tell you to. <laughs> After we got down from the lighthouse, we checked out the lighthouse keeper's quarters, and that was pretty neat. Yeah. They play a short video that gives you some history about the different lighthouse keepers that were there. Mm -hmm. In 1910, the island was hit by a hurricane. Some buildings still under repair from the year before were utterly demolished. And you get to walk through it and I don't know, there's just a lot of memorabilia in there, which was really neat. Can you 
Looks a lot like my old uniform. Yeah. And then we got to see the lens, the oh, giant the big lenses. Fresno lenses. Yes, yeah. massive. Yeah. There it is. What you think? I really am glad we did it. It's the first time in our many years to Key West that we've ever visited this lighthouse. Yeah, but I definitely should do it. I didn't care for coming down the spiral staircase just because it made me a little dizzy. It made you dizzy a little bit too. Yeah. But wow, what a view up there. That was really awesome. I can't imagine how hot that thing gets in the summer. Yeah. It was, it was good and breezy up there though. So we got, that over there. We got like little roosters over there. <laughs> Stop two on our stuff we haven't seen yet. Yeah. It's this place right here, the Mel Fisher Museum. Yes. Another place that we wanted to check out that we'd walked by many times, mm -hmm. usually with a drink in our hand, <laughs> was the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum. Yeah. And there are several museums right around in that area that we could have checked out. There was, I think, the History Museum and was another one, like Treasure something. Anyhow, we chose this one because we asked a couple people what they recommended and they said this one. We went and I don't know. I liked it. It was, it was really good. cool, but I think I was getting cranky at this point. I was tired. I wasn't feeling well. They do have a really weird no hats rule. I have major hat hair. I'm good. Yeah, but he looks fine. <laughs> he looks fine. I got a hat hair, but I don't care. Well, I do. Her hat has worse than mine for sure. <laughs> they have a no hats rule, which <laughs> okay. we. we it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. But yeah. they didn't tell us about it until after we paid and it was like no refunds. And I had a big uh, sun hat on all day because I had terrible hat hair and I didn't want to take the hat off, but I had to take the hat off. They so do, they do allow this transformation. So he gave me his hat. She could wear it backwards. And he had to have hat head <laughs> so that I wouldn't have hat head. And normally I wouldn't care, but... I guess because there are valuables there and they have security cameras that need to see your face I all the time. I think that's why. There were a lot of neat treasures and things there that they had dug up in various shipwrecks. Mm-hmm. And it goes into detail about the different shipwrecks and the excavations and different timelines, you know, from the 1600s and talks about some of the pirates and all of that stuff. And it was interesting and seeing the artifacts was really cool. But while I was there, I, I was kind of wishing that we were doing something else, like something more specific to Key West, like Key yeah. West architecture or Truman's Little White House yeah. or something like that, because that's what I love about Key West is the Key West history. I know that yeah, the this is more Caribbean mm -hmm. maritime. I mean, these guys here got a full open mouth kiss going on 24 7. Strange. <laughs> but look, these guys are looking at him. Speaking of Truman's little white house, we did decide that we were going to at least walk by it. We were running out of time. I believe that their tours were about to end 
and we still had to go pick up the truck before they closed and all of that stuff. So I wanted to at least walk by it and get the scoop. So we, we walked through the Truman Annex first mm -hmm. and then we did walk by the little white house. I do look forward to going and checking it out. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out next time <laughs> we're down there. There's a couple of things we want to see next time. Again, to eventually see everything on Key West besides all the bars. Everything. <laughs> we haven't eaten our way through Key West yet, though, so there's a lot of restaurants we still haven't been to. Yeah. Let us know what your favorite restaurant is in Key West. So, damn flying rats is what they are. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. We have to go. I can't. I'm looking right at the sun. We have to go to Kmart and Publix, and they're both in Marathon, which is about 30 minutes from the park we're staying mm -hmm. in. So we wanted to grab some dinner on the way down, and so we just chose Island Fish Company, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I don't know. We trust we Google. We trust we Google reviews. something on this water right there. I am. So. It's only 5 o'clock, but it's already super busy, so... Yeah, we are here uh, in Florida in the winter. Very studious. You gotta have, you gotta have it. Well, there's a lot to look at. <laughs> and there's a pelican. private jet. Welcome to the bright side. Show them the restaurant over here. I did. Do it again. <laughs> there. Restaurant. What do you think about the food? I like the food, but my food was very simple. It was cooking a trip. She, she gets her food really plain these days. Yeah, I have to because I'm like, I've eliminated everything, so. She's eliminated fun from her diet. I have, and it sucks. <laughs> it sucks bad. So we have decided to come down to Robbie's for lunch. Yeah, it's, it's Friday only... afternoon. In the next two days, it's a good chance of storms. So, we're right down the road, right? Yeah, seven miles. I think we showed you this before, but let's go check it out. It's like I'm floating up and dreaming. Yeah, baby, everything's all right. Everything's all right. Robbie's is, is neat. It's kind of like this little, almost like a little village of shops <laughs> and cellars. And of course, there's a restaurant there. They also have jet ski rentals, boat rentals. You can- Charters. Charter a fishing boat. There's a lot to do there. Like Chad said, a lot of shops, some trinkets and tchotchkes or whatever, <laughs> and some local artists and stuff like that. So yeah. there's a there's a good mix of stuff there if you want to look and buy stuff. Mm -hmm. Strolling up and down the sidewalk, and you can see a smile when I talk. You say everything's all right. I got a home where I can sleep. Got a pretty good seat here. For lunch. Not too shabby to, uh, for a little Friday lunch break. Yeah. Watch the people feed the tarpons while we have some lunch. We are in the sun though. But Meh. We're, in, we're in the sun in January. <laughs> so yeah, we got a good view right over here. We moved tables, now in the shade, now it's much better. We're that high maintenance table. Okay. Can we move, please? A lot of people go there, along with like eating lunch, to feed the tarpons. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a, an attraction there. They have a whole dock set up with it, and of course they'll sell you a bucket of Whatever kind chum, of 
yeah. fish stuff. I don't, I don't know what kind of fish are in yeah. there. But these tarpons are aggressive. Well, you know what's aggressive are those pelicans. <laughs> the pelicans are aggressive too. Those pelicans. Yeah, they will. We, we were actually eating lunch right next to where they sell the fish. And these pelicans would be like hanging out. And as soon as the guy would leave the counter, they'd jump up there and just start eating fish. <laughs> and it's like a free for all for the it pelicans. Was, it was quite entertaining though. It was pretty funny. and. Bird fight. He's got his eye on it. Can I get there? Got some cheaters. Got some cheaters. Ah! 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 Right. Oh. They're taking your fish! Excuse me, they're taking your fish! He's getting as many as he can. <laughs> we remembered our food this time. I know. That never happened. That's pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. So does yours. To watch people who have never been around the pelicans in this situation, it can be kind of scary because you have to walk through them to get out to feed the tarpon. They're, they're big birds with beaks like this long, yeah. so the people are kind of scared of them. And, they you know, get out of your way. Yeah, they, they just walk, walk through them, they'll get out of your way. <laughs> Those suckers are, they're looking for the easy grab, the easy <laughs> meal. Yeah. But if you go there and you want to feed the tarpons, it's a really cool thing to do. You don't have to stick your hand all the way down in there because the tarpons have been known to actually get people's hands and cut them up. It does happen. It was fun. We got to watch some people feed the tarpon. Oh, <laughs> Take the fish. <laughs> I think he's trying to flip the head off. All right, we're gonna have to go soon. Oh, you just, just gave up. He's like, crap. It's just a fun little lunch break outing before the rains came and man, did they come. Yeah. Those storms were something fierce. Yeah. Sometimes thunderstorms in the Keys are pretty scary, especially in an RV. I think they're scary. He, I, I kind of like them. I don't. I, I don't. I don't like storms in RVs yeah. at all. Period. Living in an RV and you know, have in the summertime or springtime when storms are going to be coming through, just in general, mm -hmm. it's different because yeah. you don't have the secure feeling of being in a brick and mortar house. The wind might blow your whole house a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, we always figure out where the storm shelters are and have kind of a game plan for us and especially for me if i know a big storm's heading our way i pack a bag i mm -hmm. make sure daisy has food and i have everything ready to go just in case we do have to make an emergency run for it yeah i pack up all the cameras and our hard drives and all of our expensive gear that i don't want to lose in a tornado <laughs> yeah yeah and i put it all that together in a go bag so if we get a tornado warning we know where the shelter is we grab our stuff we get in the truck yeah, like in North Carolina, just not too long ago. Yeah. What you doing? I'm looking for the tornado that the... That the alert came across my phone and woke us up at 3.20 something a.m. <clears throat> but for some reason, my phone did not get anything. It's like 3... 3.37 in the morning. Daisy didn't know what the heck's going on. Daisy's like, oh, we're going. She got all rained on. We're going there. for a ride in the middle of the night. Look at a pitiful puppy. I know. We had almost two full days of storms, and then it was flooded. That park really got pretty flooded there. Yeah. I don't know if it's always like that after a massive rain, or if we just had so much rain over those couple of days, but it didn't drain quickly. No, it took a little while. Mm -hmm. Our last day in the Keys here at Fiesta Key Resort on Long Key. I don't like the last day in the Keys. Last day in the Keys sucks, but it's a beautiful day at least. We had rain the last day and a half, and yeah. it's now in the 60s and sunny. So it'll probably be a little chilly on the bike just because we're going over water and the wind likes to whip around and stuff. <laughs>
made it to Wahoo! 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 So yeah, uh, let's get in before these people. Yeah, okay. Crowd going in. Hi. <laughs> I'm just happy because there's food. And the food was really good too. You liked yours. Mm -hmm. You had really good chowder and I got some shrimp. Chowder. chowder. And there's a marina there and you can get fishing charters. Mm. And closer to the water, there was like a tiki hut bar. That's a neat neat. little area. Good, good choice for lunch. And we got to see a manatee. Yeah. And, uh, sit out on the water, so it's good. You know, like day. like most places in the Keys, it was pricey, but yeah. that's just typical for around here. And what are you gonna do? But you're gonna pay it. You're gonna eat it. It's a beautiful it. day. The sun feels great. We're gonna ride back up the key a little bit and go mm -hmm. on that dock. Yeah. Did you want to go to the uh, Florida Brewing Company or do you just want to go to the one dot? Yes, Florida Brewing Company. Let's go there. Okay. Let's do it. And we were making this kind of a short day because we were leaving the next day and we had to T24. get prepared for a long drive. But on the way back, like five <laughs> minutes away from where we were before because this is the keys, we wanted to check out the Florida Keys Brewing Company because we've been by it several times, but we've mm -hmm. never been. And yeah, that was one of my favorite places that we went this yeah, whole time. We'll definitely go back there. It's, it's one of those places that you see from the front and you don't really know. It looks kind of cool, but once mm -hmm. you go inside and there was like a back area, grassy beer garden, area. Beer, yeah, that's true. It was a beer garden. Yeah. And it was really cool. They had some really good live music there that yes. wasn't too obnoxious. Two brothers. They both had guitars, but occasionally he, the one would pick up the violin. The beers were good. We just got a flight and tasted five of them and hung out. It was a beautiful space. It was just really Yeah, sweet. really cool vibe there. Mm -hmm. I loved it. And I look forward to going back there and trying some more. And on the way between the uh, brewery and home, we saw that little park. We had ridden by it several times while we were in the Keys, and I kept saying, I just want to see this. What is this? Because it looked like some kind of boardwalk. So we checked it out, and it was. It was a nice little boardwalk walking path, and then you could get off the boardwalk and walk down to the water, mm -hmm. and they had some pavilions or gazebos or whatever you might call it that you can hang out in. It was funny because there were a bunch of holes in the sand from the tiny little crabs that would pop their heads up and then they'd run. But, you know, I think we only caught one or two because they were hiding from the camera. These guys over here figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> Found a nice little quiet spot on the water. I guess. A little, little bit of road noise, but not too bad. Yeah, there's there's definitely road noise, but what a pretty spot. Yeah, it's very cool. I want to walk down just a little bit further and then we can go. Hi.
after Ann's Beach Park. We just rode home because we had a lot to get done for the next day because we were hitting the road. That's right, we had all of our T24 and T12 and T0s all to do. And from here, we actually head up to the middle part of northern part of Florida. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take you to some state parks and some other random places as we hopped around aimlessly because we forgot to plan. Yes, which is not like us. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. They can't see my face now because you're well, I'm here. trying to get just our faces in it because our, our white bodies are embarrassing. <laughs> this isn't the best idea. Go ahead. <laughs> Our plan was to get you walking and you like ducked. Oh, I screwed it up. Back in and up. <clears throat> if we get a tornado warning, then that thing flew right in my eyeball. See it? Likely story. No, it was one of those little fuzzy things. <laughs> years we've never been to the slice house. Lice house. It's a, might be a lice house. We don't know. You could probably walk up to somebody with a boat and just say, hey, can I, can you charter my charter me out there can you charter me can you charter me <laughs> you can even just find random people with boats i'm sure they'll take you out for don't, a fee don't do that don't do that stuff mm -hmm. and from there we're headed up to florida to kind of hop around randomly because we didn't plan very well but... and by up to florida he means we're still in florida <laughs> that's true but further up into florida